but his hands keep slipping off the doorknob due to the oil that he used to glisten up his body. <laughs> right, you know what? I think I might take a break. What's poppin' baby? We about to get into episode 2 of season 4 of What We Do in the Shadows. The gang's all reunited. They're back. We got a baby Colin Robinson, or just the boy, as Laszlo calls him. We got Nedge opening a nightclub. Nandor wants to get married, and Guillermo's trying to look out for number one. How's this gonna unfold? What crazy antics are we gonna get into? I don't know. Let's find out. Episode 2 of season 4 of What We Do in the Shadows. Our work on converting the Vampiric Council into a vampire nightclub is... Not going well. We're just getting right into it. Is being something of a total harpy in my ass. <laughs> Continue the work. Are you sure you don't want to protect your precious books by putting them into storage so they don't get damaged by my blood sprinklers? <laughs> blood sprin I love Lazla and Naja. They're the best. This took hours. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. Oh. oh this conversation is over. It's always interesting because Nadja just strong arms her way to everything that uh, she wants, and uh, she's not getting it now. So, when you see this bad boy plays out. Yeah, we all know the song's a banger. Which one's yours? I do not own a dog. Not I creepy at all. Here to speak to you. My search for a new wife has not been going so great. Yeah. I used to have 37 beautiful wives, but that was hundreds of... Some of those are dudes. I secretly smuggled back 850 pounds of ancestral treasure from al Nadar. I... Th Hold on. Didn't we just have crazy money issues last episode? Come on, guy. Come on, let's think this through. I am not a creep. You creep. Beautiful and ancient warrior who wishes to marry you. Okay. So I'd like you to come back to the basement of my mansion and examine my massive dowry. See, you already know what I'm thinking. Quite treasures, but without a wife to share them with. And yes, I have kept my secret treasure secret from even my housemates. Cue the housemates. No one will ever know the precious riches that I have hidden deep. What the fuck, Guillermo? There it is. How long have you had this secret room for? I told Nadja it wasn't safe for her crew to be working here, but she doesn't listen. I have tried using the carrot. I must ask you about some of the things I overheard them saying when I was working in um, England at the Supreme Vampiric Council. Oh, mind game's beginning. Definitely saying that they think that this branch of the Vampiric Council is very much stuck in time and that the real estate will probably be more valuable if they list it out to a serious pharmacy. Who said that? <gasps> they may. Break meeting! Break meeting! Hey, ah, uh, stop injuring crew workers and assemble for an official race meeting! <laughs> A lot of shooting people with nail guns in this season so far, huh? Nothing. Well, did you ever rub it counterclockwise? Hey, rub, rub, hey, rub. See, nothing. We have a genie episode on our hands. Hey. Hey, yo. Oh, okay. Hey. Are you a gin? Yes. You don't look like a gin. You can't say that. I just did. Man, jeans looks like an accountant, right? Like... Board of a skull accountant. Boy, that oh, that boy's ooh, that boy is dead. Yet your inner uncontrollable emotions are resisting. Would I be right? Hmm. But I think I can fix her. <laughs> Classic, Laz. And my towel accidentally dropped, and he caught sight of my rather generous John Thomas. He John shrieked Thomas. Eureka and then came up with penis envy, or what I like to call wanting of the wang. Something I love about Laszlo is that he has used his hundreds of years to learn and incur knowledge. I appreciate that. So what was her name? Might have been a he. They weren't all women. 
could do that back then? Of course. Some of my wives were girl wives, some of them were guy wives. It's not that different. Hmm. I cannot hmm. remember the name, but I... He love is love, baby. Just bring them all back and we'll figure it out. I don't think that's the most efficient way uh, to deal with... In fact, it sounds like a terrible idea. Yes. This is my wish. I oh. wish you to bring back all 37 of my dead wives. Very well. All right. Episode two, here we go. Hello to you too. I want to say Mina, <gasps> Miriam. <gasps> Guillermo, I'm going to need you to install 37 mm -hmm. bunk beds in the attic. Or you could wish for 37 bunk beds in the attic. Just saying. If the steam pipes are backed up, then I am also backed up. Nothing sexy. I'm just going to ignore most of that and put that down to your female hysteria. <laughs> Moving on. The thought oh, of changing love. this building, how does that make you feel? I just have an overpowering bad things will happen energy and it's flowing through me. Do you mean a sexual sensation? No. I don't kill them, I just make them dead again. Yes. Isn't that killing them again? No. Certainly sounds like it. Gold oh no. Coin. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Come oh, no. Um. So they never see it coming, and there is no sadness or tears. The old bait and switch. Well, that is fascinating. And if you will allow me, I have a technique that could retrieve that lost memory. Will it hurt? Maybe. I mean, Laszlo probably isn't the best therapist, but I've seen therapists help me with my mental clarity in my life, and... Boy, does it help to talk to somebody. Behruz. Yes. The mighty. Yes. You just got axed. Hi. Nandor said you have a gold coin for me. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and each one has a label on it. And what does the label say? Contents, even smaller boxes. Smaller boxes. boxes, yes. I thought you might say that. Let's get the fuck out. <laughs> I'll be back later. I just wanted to be happy. And I'm in a very good place right now. Good for you. That's concerned. Good, Guillermo. Good. That's all I will say about that. He is not happy. I take it back immediately. I think he's really into him, hey, actually. Can you take this infant away from me? <laughs> That's right. Forgot about baby Colin Robinson. Cover yourself up. Continuing down. <laughs> this guy smelt it. <laughs> What do you see? Someone needs to clean it up. All right, apart from that, do you see a door? Many doors. Can you tell me what they say? Conversation starters. All right. <laughs> Favorite looks casual. <laughs> Favorite looks formal. Shame <laughs> to not open. Uh, box storage Ooh. number two, that might be a... Shame to not open is interesting. Do you see that person? Yes. Who is he? Hmm. It's Garmo. No, no, I said somebody is strong. Word? And powerful. Do you see that person? Yes, that's Carol. Really? Oh, he's naked. Hello, Carol. Just get him to open the door. He's naked. Can he open the door? <laughs> this is an interesting twist. But his hands keep slipping off the doorknob due to the oil that he used to glisten up his body. <laughs> right, you know what? I think I might take a break. <laughs> ben. Uh. Oh, classic crotch shot. Okay. <laughs> Kublai, classic. Also I like her, but she's so much smarter than me. So, see ya. Oh, come on, Nandor. That lady gold coined herself. I already have a family. And one that I don't see because I spend so much time taking care of you guys. So weird, but I wonder how they built this set. I was a bad vampire. Yes. I was slumpy. Oh. I was wild. Oh. I was a moth to the danger flame. Yeah. I was Inquisition. There's a lot of... This is a big turn I, I did not expect. Top work. I was simply oh, put... Jesus Christ. What? It's true. The final straw king. The ultimate messiness for a vampire. When I slept with a vampire killer. Shit. No. Ooh. Will this climax be the end of my story and what a way to go? Whoa. What's it worth to you? 
Name your hmm. price. I want to be the nightclub's accountant. Bro, you could have said make me a vampire. I should have known you had Van Helsing blood in you when I felt that tingling in my most private of parts. Yes, Guillermo. For my past life when I was a naughty, dirty vampire. <laughs> this show is wild. All right, and what are we waiting for, huh? Oh, it's a good out. day. Let's get oh. this whole shit oh. out. This is nice. This is actually kind of nice. Uh, woo! Would you excuse me for one moment, please, my little pomegranate? Be right back. Little pomegranate. That's kind of adorable. I always imagined my wife with blonde hair. But my passion lied in science and medicine. <laughs> Once again, the writers always astound me, especially with that whole Guillermo making love to the guide. I don't know where that's going to go, but it's a little... It's a little interesting, to say the least. A lot of different uh, irons in the fire here between the nightclub, the Guillermo, the guide relationship, little Colin Robinson, Nandor trying to find his wives. This could turn out to be a really fun, interesting season. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. And uh, I'd love to have you along for future episodes. Subscribe if you'd like to join me, and I'll see you when we do episode three. Take care, everyone.